Whether you have one idea or a thousand, turning those ideas into a novel can be difficult at best. Today, I'm gonna to take you through my process of turning an idea into a workable story. Previously, I went through brainstorming with you guys and I came up with these ideas. As I'm looking through them again, I'm really liking this idea of a chosen one competition, but I'm gonna combine it with this setting of a world with distortions. As you can see, I already have kind of a template set up. The items that I go through are things that are gonna help me make decisions about the story and come up with a real workable story. First things first, a title. Now, I don't have a story yet, so my title is more of a placeholder than anything. I'm gonna call it Fantasy Survivor. Then we're gonna jump straight to the one-liner, which is the most basic idea. I'll probably come back to the title and the one-liner once I have done a little bit more work on this story idea. But today we're gonna start out with Chosen Ones Compete in a Fantasy Competition. Your overall plot synopsis is a more fleshed out version of your one-liner. Often when I'm working on this overall synopsis, I will maybe say some things about the characters or the world before we got to this point in the story. But for this idea, a lot of the stuff that would be going on outside of the world and even in the characters' lives outside of the competition isn't super important except to get to know the characters better. So I'm not going to include really anything from before. A group of chosen ones are split into teams and are sent down into a canyon without anything but the clothes they have on and each other. Teams confront a myriad of distortions and compete in challenges against each other for rewards and safety from being voted out of the game. Something you might notice at this point, if you are familiar with the TV show Survivor, it's similar. That's okay for right now. Things are gonna change as I develop the story more. Next up, protagonist. The most important thing about the protagonist or, or really any character right now is that we know what they want. It doesn't matter what color of hair they have, if they wear glasses, an eye that twitches. Right now, the most important thing is what do your characters want? If they don't have a want, you don't have a story. So my protagonist will remain nameless right now. Underdog in the eyes of other chosen ones and especially compared to others there in the competition. They have strength that others do not see or value and my protagonist wants to go on an adventure. Now that I have that one secured, I feel good. I don't know this character 100% but I feel confident that I have something to work with and I can move on to the antagonist. My antagonist, again, they're gonna remain nameless for the time being. They're good at finding weakness and are doing a bunch of blackmailing in the background. So in my synopsis, I already mentioned the settings, so this is easy. Personally, I like to discover the world as I write, so just saying Canyon with Distortions is enough right now. When I was doing my research, I watched other videos about this topic and no one mentioned conflict, and it blows my mind. You can't have a story, especially one that does well without conflict. It goes with the wants of the characters. Just because of the premise of the story, this conflict was was easy this time and that's winning the game. At this point I know the genre of my story based on the protagonist, the conflict, the world, and if you don't that probably means that one of those things hasn't been fleshed out enough. So for example I know that this is going to be an adult fantasy. Something that I haven't included on this is the form or like the structure of the novel. That's something that I feel like I just kind of see intuitively. I want to emulate the structure of like Survivor or Amazing Race, these kind of uh, competition reality shows. Next up is a through line. This is the thing that's going to kind of glue everything together. My plots and my subplots. Some people look at this as a theme. I personally don't always use a theme as my through line. For example, in my main project, The Fourth Wall, it's a single line and variations on that line. And this game is gonna be the mechanics of the game. From this point on, we're gonna be getting more of a shape to our plot, and we're gonna start with the inciting incident. Your inciting incident is just where the story begins. What gets your character to move? In, in this case, it's just gonna be starting the game. Next up, we're gonna work on our try-fail cycles. Your character is trying something and failing. In try fail one, my protagonist is gonna be focused on winning challenges, but the antagonist's team is going to win. In try fail two, we're gonna have a team switch up and my protagonist will find out about the sketchy things that the antagonist is doing. They are going to work hard to get themselves in a good position to take out the antagonist. However, my protagonist is not gonna be successful at this. So in try fail three, once the teams merge, my protagonist is gonna pit themselves against the antagonist and in so doing, make themselves a target and the protagonist and the antagonist will go at until resolution, somebody wins. At this point, 
I don't need to look at any more characters besides the protagonist and antagonist. I know that I have something I can work with and that was the point of this activity. So because the characters is gonna be opening a can of worms, we're gonna leave that for another video. Now, I know this was a fast overview of my process, so let me know if there's anything that you guys would like me to dig deeper into. Just remember, this process can be difficult, and if you're feeling stuck, here's a video to help you get through that pesky writer's block.